This is Discovering the Scriptures with Dr. Peter John Parises. Currently, we are in Daniel, chapter 3, verse 9, reading from the King James Bible, quote, They spake and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O King, live forever, unquote. Now, let's go ahead and look at this in the Inner Lineal Bible, Raw Translation, and then we're going to go into prayer. Quote, Live forever, King, King to Nebuchadnezzar, and said they spoke. Now let's go into prayer. Dear God, please give us revelation and now let's continue the scriptures as we study it. Help us to hear the Holy Spirit's teachings, who is our teacher, and help us to move forward in learning to love you more, to seek after your scriptures more, and to love one another. Please speak with us as we give you a moment here. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Now, let's go ahead and look at the scripture in context first, and then we're going to go ahead and read it in the Young's Literal. Reading the scripture in context, we're in Daniel chapter 3, verse 8, going through to Daniel 3, verse 12 for the paragraph. Reading from the King James Version, quote, Wherefore at that time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hath made a decree, that every man that should hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psalmstery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fierce furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the providence of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Unquote. Young Zitchel translation, quote, They have answered, Yea, they are saying to Nebuchadnezzar the king, O king, to the ages live. Unquote. Let's go ahead and parse this out and take a look at the meaning behind this. They spake. So let's go ahead and parse that in Aramaic. It's a PL stem, so casual. Perfect aspect, so completed. Continuing. And said. Parse that. That is a PL stem, participle, aspect. So basically, it's casual as to be. And said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live. Let's parse out live. That's a PL stem, so it's still casual. It's an imperative aspect, and let's see, that's an imperative mood. Continuing on, live forever. And that's the end of the portion of this verse. So there's not much here. Uh, let's take a look at the commentaries on this verse and see what we can draw from this uh, simple verse. Now remember, we heard this salutation, King live forever, on Daniel chapter 2, verse 4, originally. So, let's see what John Gill's commentary has on this particular verse for us. Okay, reading from John Gill's commentary, quote, They spake and said to Nebuchadnezzar, Having not access unto him, and were in his hearing, they expressed themselves in the following manner, O king, live forever. This they said to show their fidelity and hardly attachment to him, and their regard to his welfare and continuance of his life and the rather to ingratiate themselves into his affections and gain audience with him." Unquote. Now something I want you to look at. We have these men approaching Nebuchadnezzar. They're about to talk bad about the Jews because of three people. And remember, when people talk bad about others, they're more than likely talking bad about you also. And this is something that points out here that these men are probably not even the king's friends, though they tout to be, so it seems. But this is a customary expression, O king, live forever. Let's go forward, and I want you to pay attention to that phrase, O king, live forever. We're going to discuss that very quickly here in another verse. So take a look at that and notice that they did the salutation. But are they really truly his friends? I doubt it. Thank you for listening to Discovering the Scriptures. Please remember to hit the 
ads that show up on YouTube. This helps uh, bring some money in to help get this ministry up and going into a nonprofit radio broadcast around the world. Thank you. May God richly bless you. And stay tuned for more.